on it. Oh, I stopped. Welcome back to What's Inside Family. Today is our ninth house update, and it's kind of a big one. There's a lot of physical changes that have happened to the house that I'm excited to show you, and today I'm gonna to show you a couple of the things now that the drywall is in that I'm kind of looking at going, oh, I wish we could have designed that a little bit better because this house we designed from scratch, and so of course when you build it for the first time, you're gonna see some things that maybe you don't like as much. Well, the first thing that you guys probably noticed is the house looks gray now. This is a gray coat because they're putting stucco on it. So it's basically all of this dirt right here and they take this concrete, they mix it up, and it's like they're essentially putting concrete all over the outside of the house, the exterior of the home. I know a lot of you guys in the comments this whole time because it's only been a wood house have said, Why are you building a wood house? You should build it out of rock. Well, we basically are. We're putting concrete on it right now and they're doing the gray coat. It takes them about four days to cover the entire house. And before they did that, they put the chicken wire and the white like styrofoam all over. So here we go. We got the chicken wire and the styrofoam and then you just see this rock right here. That's the sheetrock, it's like concrete. And they put it on and then they smooth it out everywhere. This is the final layer of the house. And no, it's not going to be gray. It's probably going to be some kind of white color once we paint it. But the first step is get all this rock on here. It's only been a few days and the only stretch that they have left is this side of the house by the master bedroom and then the RV garage needs to be finished. And then the entire house is basically covered in rock. Claire, what do you think about the house now that has all the stucco on it? It's really weird. I don't know, it's so much more different. Like, I don't know, I'm not used to it. Do you like it? Does it look more like a finished house? Yeah, it does. What color should we paint the house? Maybe purple. Purple? Yeah. I mean, it either have to be a white or a light blue or a light yellow. Those are like the only colors I would like. Cool. All right. Good, because I think we're actually doing white. So Claire, you're onto something. This is our YouTube studio right here. And you can see like the little circles where they're smoothing it all out. They've still got some work to do there. But under here, <laughs> these guys have these super high ceilings. And so they have to go and build scaffolding everywhere to be able to get up and get all that mud on the ceiling. It is not easy when you have super high ceilings and you've got to put all of this concrete stucco stuff all over the house. Check it out, our next door neighbor is Rachel's house. She's starting to get flags everywhere to kind of map out what the foundation's gonna look like for her house. So I would think by the time we're done with our house, they should have their house completely framed, maybe even to this stage with all the stucco on their house. But it's kind of fun to have neighbors. Now we got to take a look at the inside because this is where the most massive changes have come. Get ready for drywall stage. Now that we have all the drywall in, the ceilings are so high and uh, you, it, the room really comes together. Don't know why there's a Denver Broncos hat on my fireplace, that's not for me. But all you Denver Bronco fans, you're welcome. And then you come into the kitchen, the dining room, and I'm just amazed at how much space is in here. Like, it, in some ways it's closed in a little bit more because now the drywall is closed in the walls, but it's pretty cool to see what it looks like now that it's, this is actually what the house is gonna look like. Just imagine, right here, pool, 75 feet long, just going whoop water. I mean, we live in the desert, so to have just water running back that way, it's going to be pretty awesome. And a sad update for you. We uh, made the decision. We are not going to buy the lot behind us. We're not doing it. I know, it's a sad decision. Jonathan's thumbs downing me behind you right now, but <laughs> we're going to just leave it open, which sounds like somebody's going to buy the lot. And because it has a pretty big front setback in that house, it's almost like 99% sure that somebody's gonna build a two-story there, big old house. And so the beautiful view of that mountain out there, which is Pine Valley Mountain, and the trees, unfortunately, at some point, that view's gonna be gone. And uh, I just can't justify spending that much money for dirt and then having to go and like pay the property taxes and then fixing up the backyard. At some point, you've gotta be like, all right, we need to save some money and not spend it all on things that are nice to have, but. Um, there's other things going on in the world that we can spend our money on to help other people. Don't think we need to buy the dirt. So anyway, there's a sad update. Thanks for all your suggestions. I know a lot of you said buy the lot, but hopefully you understand. I think we're happy enough with this amazing home. <laughs> this is the mud right here. <laughs> this is the stuff that they put on the drywall. If you don't know how drywall works, it's big old sheets of this like chalky stuff. 
but then they go into everywhere that they did the screws or everywhere where their panels connect and they scrape on the mud and then it makes it smooth. And then once they do that, then they can go and they can paint it once it's completely smooth. So that's what stage they're on right now. They're just mudding the entire house and all of the rooms, but this is the master. Like, look how amazing this master is with the ceiling all pitched like that. Sneak peek at the bathroom, check it out. This is where it is. <laughs> So this is the bathroom. This shower is basically like a car wash. We're gonna have water spraying out of every one of these. We're gonna, we'll do a full reveal once it's time, but the bathroom's coming together. Imagine glass wall right here, big bathtub right there, and uh, yeah, just men on stilts in here in our bathroom, working. Okay, this is perfect timing. Um, this is Jonathan, our builder. I need to take this up to there. Can you help me figure this out? I can't figure it out. Do you know how to do it? Yeah, let's get up there. I have to plug it in, but I don't know how to, which plug to plug it in. Are you sure you know how to operate this? No, I don't. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, in order to show you the thing that I'm a little bit like, oh, why did we do that? We gotta get up here. There's a control up here. Yeah, no, I know. You know how to do this? Yes. Let's make a noise. Okay, don't run over, Murphy. <laughs> don't hit the walls, Jonathan. Oh, what is this? This is what we do for the shot. We gotta get you guys a shot and show you one of the things that I'm like, oh, why do we do this? We're going up! <laughs> we are up here. Okay, this is fun. And, and a little scary. Good job, we did it. Does it go higher? <laughs> Look how high we're going. Perfect, that's good, that's good, that's good. Look at this, my builder is a pro. Okay, we are super high right now. Look down, all you can see all the way down to the bottom. Hey. We're really high. Look how small he looks down there. When you design your own house, like I said earlier, um, it's from scratch. This home has never been built before. And so there's a lot of moving parts. You've got the architect that designs it and makes it look pretty. You have the engineering team that goes in and makes it actually stand up and functionally work. And then you've got the truss company that has to make sure that the trusses are structurally sound and that it can hold the weight of the home and everything. There's a lot of moving parts and somehow in this one, I feel like it's a little bit of a miss. Again, it's little, like these are small complaints when this home is so beautiful and I'm so grateful for it. But if you look at this window, right here, it has this beautiful arch and curve on it. And from the outside of the house, you can see the three windows. One's with the guest room, one's right here in the entryway, and then the other one's in the piano room. And it's, it's a nice, beautiful touch that Leslie came up with, that idea, I don't know where she got the inspiration for that side of it, but it's pretty for a one-story house to have those windows. And one thing I really like is look at the ceiling. It's nice and curved right there, right in line with the top curvature of the window. But then what's weird is right here, the wall just kind of ends. And so we've got this one and a half, it's like five or six feet in, it drops down and then it goes all the way down the rest of the hallway, just like that. I think it would look prettier if we would've gone all the way, right? Yeah. Yeah. So like this part right here is actually built in trusses. This part over here was actually framed in on the like outside. stick frame on the outside. So structurally, if we would have had to go all the way. We would have had to make this higher and then we could have had the radius go all the way across. Like from the bottom, you don't really notice it. It's not that big of a deal. But oh, if my architect and the trust company could have just like talked a little bit more about that and had some foresight, that would have been cool. These are the girls' bedrooms. This one's London's right here. And they have a shared Jack and Jill bathroom. And so this first area is gonna be like London's vanity. And then she's got her closet. And then there's a door right here. And then this is the shared big old shower and toilet right here. So there's there's no door on this thing, but it looks like it's gonna come out. I don't even know where, like I'm worried that the toilet's gonna come out too far, which is nothing wrong with the toilet. It's just, could we have designed this so that there's a little bit more space or maybe we could turn the toilet and have it in the wall. It just seems kind of weird that even when you're like in the shower, you could just be like in the shower and you just look and there's just like exposed toilet just sitting there. Again, really small thing. <laughs> I'm grateful to have this nice of a room, but it is one of those things that's like, even if we had an extra six inches or a foot of room, maybe the toilet could be a little bit more tucked away. So anyway, there's one of my weird things about the house. And the third and last thing that I'm like, oh, what is this? We gotta fix this. When you walk in the front door and you look to the right, you notice there's stairs right here. There's kind of a gap. And so when you're standing way down there, we've got the, the stairwell is right up here. Like, look, this is a stairwell, but you don't want to look to the right and see stairs right there. That's kind of weird. 
And so I told Jonathan and Susan about this. They're gonna go and just extend the wall down a step or two, and that way we can have a big piece of artwork right there, and then it'll be totally fine. All right, how about the bonus room? Ready to see this thing? I think it looks pretty, pretty awesome. Oh, and these guys are muddy right now outside the window, check it out. These guys are literally putting the mud on the walls right now. You can see it like falling down. Okay, so this is the bonus room. Jonathan, I think this room turned out awesome. I love this room. Speaker, 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 speaker. Big TV on the wall right there, and then just super fun room. What are we doing with beds for guests in here? So we're gonna do wall bunk beds, but they are hide -a beds. They fold up into the wall, so they'll come down, but for the most, most of the time when there's no company here, they'll go back up to the wall and it'll just look like trim work. You're are they bunk beds or are they just like one bed on the ground? They're one that will come off, not bunks. Yeah. Wall beds. Okay, yeah. perfect, wall beds. So we'll have three, is it three twin beds? Three twins, but it does have room for queens. So if you'd rather have Ooh. queens, you could do queens. Brilliant idea. So um, all my friends that are watching this, my friends that have lots of kids, just know like your your kids are gonna be right here on these wall beds that just come out of the wall magically. The rest of it's gonna be pinball machine, pool table, TV. I don't know what this room's gonna be, but it's gonna be a pretty fun room. And then it's just gonna be the room where we just throw the kids. We're like, hey kids, go sleep upstairs. Anyway, here's the update. Stucco, drywall, some of the things that we can and can't fix that we're like, oh, why did we do that? We should fix this when we build another house sometime. But again, small things. I'm super happy with the progress. The main question everybody always wants to know, are we on track? Oh, we are on track. <laughs> so maybe February will be done, you think? January. January? December. December, January. She's, she, I'm not even negotiating with her. She's just like, February, January, December. So probably, by, I think I think by January. Okay, do we have a consensus here between the two of you? 100%. We'll January. agree on January. We'll agree. <laughs> 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 All right, let us know what else you guys want to see from the updates and uh, thanks for watching. And if you liked any of these sweet shots from this camera right today, it's from our friend Murphy. What's your YouTube, what's your Instagram? Murphy Yangster. Murphy Yangster, not Murphy Gangster. Murphy Yangster, go check it out. If you remember the wedding video that we were in, he was the amazing dancer at Kenzie's wedding.